Hey, welcome back. So I found this old rusty knife and I figured I could make one of those restoration videos. I'm going to try to make this as entertaining as possible. I let the knife soak overnight and I came out every couple hours to scrub off the loose rust. I'm scanning the knife so I don't have to take any measurements. I can make all the designs from the actual knife profiles, and I'll know how big it is because it scans to printer paper, which is 8.5 by 11. This next part is pretty much just computer work and design. To make it more interesting, I'm going to give you some information on the origins of Damascus. <clears throat> Damascus steel was the forged steel of the blades of swordsmiths in the Near East from Ingansog. Wood steel, imported from southern India and Sri Lanka. This was known as Sinhala steel. These swords are characterized by distinctive patterns of banding and mottling reminiscent of flowing water. Such blades were reputed to be tough resistant to shattering, and capable of being honed to a sharp, resilient edge. The steel is named after Damascus, the capital city of Syria and one of the largest cities in the ancient Levant. It may either refer to swords made or sold in Damascus directly, or it may just refer to the aspect of the typical patterns. <clears throat> The design I came up with is based off the architecture found in India and in Syria. If you're curious on how Damascus is actually made, you can go check out Will and Alec on Alec Steele's channel. They have a ton of Damascus projects and a lot of quality videos. This actually isn't the first time spray paint's been on this knife. If you're interested in laser cutting, I made a video about the machine I'm using here. I'll link to it in the description. The etched part of the knife has a little bit of soot on it that's easily wiped off with soap and water. Now that we etched the paint, the bare metal will be etched and the paint will become the new high point. This is ferric chloride. It's normally used to etch PCBs, but it also works well on steel. And yes, this is a Taco Bell cup. I'm using the lid to stabilize the knife. Time to take it out of the Pepsi. You can neutralize the acid by dipping it in baking soda and hot water. After about an hour and a half, it's etched really deep. I'm sanding this as lightly as I can, just to buff the highlights. I'm not going to lie, it worked out better than I expected. We're in the home stretch now. Doing one last dry fit before I epoxy everything into place. The knife is held in place by epoxy and dowels, which I sand flush. I 
I ended up putting three coats of stain on this and polishing it on the buffing wheel. I'm going for a dark, subtle look. The fit up's actually pretty nice. Everything's a good friction fit, nothing's gonna slide off. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you want to see longer videos, let me know. I'll see you in the next one.